Welcome to Qt C++ GUI tutorial for complete beginners. Qt is a cross-platform application development framework. You can use it to write your code once on one platform and very easily deploy on different platforms. This course aims at building your Qt C++ GUI development knowledge. In here, you find various tips and tricks that cover a good number of basic and intermediate Qt development topics. The ideal student for this course is a complete beginner, so no programming experience whatsoever is required. Let's look at some of the topics in this course. We start by downloading and installing Qt and Qt Creator, both on the Windows and Ubuntu Linux machine. We show you the steps you would follow to install it on a Mac if you happen to be using it. We then go on and cover a good number of topics about the C++ programming language that you're going to need in this course. Next, we look at signals and slots and how you use them to respond to events. We then go on a tour to visit some Qt widgets classes that you may use in your application. We visit QWidget, QLineEdit, QMessageBox, QMain Window, and many others. We also cover layouts and how you can use them to manage the real estate in your windows on your screen. We then look at Qt dialog classes and how you can use them. We visit the Qt resource system, styling your Qt applications using Qt palette and style sheets, working with settings, saving your data and loading it back, using QFile and QDIR to work with files and directories. And we finish by looking at the network capabilities of the Qt framework, where you write an application to download HTML data in your Qt application and do another one to consume REST APIs in your Qt application. Qt has quite a huge user base and there are thousands of software projects using it, both open source and commercial, including the one I'm using to record this video right now. If you want to build cross-platform C++ GUI applications, Qt is really second to none in that regard. So please check out some of the preview videos and let's get you started building cross-platform GUI applications using Qt.